Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is day two of moving and well we have the fun part now which is the unpacking. <laughs> so this is what we're working with now. I would really like for all of this to be done today and you see <laughs> Do you see that mister right there? Why is he chipsing at me? <laughs> It's going to get done today, and first things first is creating a list for Stuart. Whoa, I'm gonna tackle the kitchen because you all know kitchen is the most important part of a home. I actually did the pantry this morning. Ta da! I'm so proud of myself. Ooh. It's great. I love this. Oh, and I also put everything away in the fridge. Oh, just trust me, it's in here. It has like these three levels, so that's really good. And it has these cupboards here, and then this one here. So I think I'm gonna put glasses and cups there. Then I'm gonna put plates and uh, maybe containers or bowls here. And then over here would be containers. Because those are the covers for the containers. So containers and I'm not sure what's up there. And then over here we have the blender. Although I use this blender quite often, so I might want to put it here if it could fit. But we'll see. That's the beauty of moving. So yeah, let me stop talking and get to work. This is the third time I've moved in my life, which I feel like is just enough time to still find it very exciting. For those of you who don't know, Stuart and I got married earlier this year, and after which we lived in his apartment, which we liked, but we absolutely love this place even more. We actually put in our application for this place before we even saw it in real life. <laughs> but thank God, everything worked out fine, and we love it. We purposefully tried not to accumulate too many things to make the move easier. So we still have to get things like a living room set and a dining set, but we were able to rent a U-Haul, pack and move everything ourselves. So that super minimalistic lifestyle for the past few months definitely paid off. Actually, fun story, the U-Haul that we rented wasn't available at the pickup time we scheduled. So they sent us to another one like five minutes away and gave us a refund that was actually more than what we paid to rent the U-Haul. So we technically made money. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for customer service, highly recommend. We saved some of the original boxes that things came in, so that also made moving very easy. So this box of glasses is perfect for transporting glasses. I wish we had kept the box, the wine glasses came in, but you know, foresight. You don't recognize that you don't have it until it's too late. <laughs> but um, I'm only taking out how many we typically need, which helps to reduce clutter when you're not working with a big space. By the way, did you know that the white thread that you see on the citrus fruit is called the pit? I just learned that. So I'm mostly team not eat the pit, but sometimes I seriously cannot be bothered. <laughs> Apparently it is nutritious, so maybe I'll reconsider removing it. I decided to put containers in this cupboard. We have both plastic and glass containers, but we use the glass containers more often. So I've followed the textbook rule of placing the most frequently used items in the easiest accessible areas. So I've placed the plastic ones to the top and the glass ones at the bottom. I stack the bowls and have the bowl covers in the bin on the second shelf. And I've found this way of storing them very ideal when you're dealing with small spaces. And in this cupboard, I place the plates and bowls. Again, we keep it minimal. It's just the two of us, so we don't need any more dishes than this, really.
I recognized that there wasn't enough clearance for me to easily get a bowl out so I had to make the very tough decision and cut the red one. In my humble opinion it looks better anyway. <laughs> Okay, so here's my biggest tip for moving day. Food plus music makes it 100% better. <laughs> so put on your favorite playlist, have your breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, everything ready, and you're set to go. Nothing can get you down after that, okay? <laughs> So I was trying to replicate this setup at our last place but it wasn't working because the shelf was just too low and I was about to compromise into an even less efficient design and I just had to remind myself not to limit the setup to the last place and also to think outside the box and what works best for this new space. Also, I have found it useful to think about my future self in these situations and to make the best choice for her despite how I currently feel. One of my favorite quotes is, if it's not practically useful, it's practically useless. So organizing things in line with your lifestyle is the key to success. And let's be real, nobody has time to fight up getting a pan, a pot, a bowl, a plate, a fork, spoon, anything from the cupboard, okay? So do it right the first time and you'll be set for life. So right now you see me tinkering a lot with how everything is set up. I keep in mind that however I organize the space now, it doesn't have to be permanent. I can change it tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. And that gives me confidence and flexibility to organize as I see fit. And the likelihood is that I won't get it right on the very first time. The longer I live in this space, I'm sure I will find better ways to organize it. And yes, I know you're not supposed to put other fruits next to bananas because bananas release a gas that cause other fruits to ripen, but that's exactly the objective I was going for to get the avocado and nectarine to ripen quicker.
okay so here i'm just clearing off everything off of the counter i'm going for a minimalistic look so the less things on the counter the better for me and i love using lazy susans for this purpose um so that you could consolidate numerous things into one spot but for this purpose i'm using it to hide that very green canister of olive oil which doesn't really go with the aesthetics of this area so i'll just put it at the center of the lazy susan and have the other things sort of hide the bold colors of this canister I know it's not that serious but hey <laughs> i'm sure there's a scripture that says whatever you can do to bring joy to your kitchen let it be so okay So although this utensil organizer is expandable this drawer is too narrow to fit its expanded version so unfortunately we had to lose that benefit and just work with what we have thankfully it fit exactly the smallest it was able to go or else we would have had to go and purchase something even smaller We're coming along nicely. Uh, the kitchen is the first to get done, and uh, it's already four o'clock, <laughs> and I'm just taking a break to have lunch, some curry, which I meal prepped on Sunday, since I knew we were gonna be busy and we would need food. So thankfully, I'm so happy there's food to eat and yeah i'm very hungry now because it's four o'clock and i haven't had lunch i eat like fruits for breakfast or something now uh let, well i want to give you a progress shot but don't mind there i mean i guess don't mind everywhere <laughs> just that quarter screen um these things have to move and this has to move obviously but um over here all these boxes are pretty much empty and then over here is pretty clear yeah so we're making good progress I think we would hit our goal of getting this done by the end of today so that's great so now to eat <laughs> it's like maybe a dining area over there Maybe, and it has some... <laughs> 